I would like to congratulate the Devon Baseball seniors and thank them for all they've done for the program in the past few years. You all brought something to the team to make us better, whether it was talent, leadership, hard work, or personality. You all brought something to make the team better as a whole. And due to that, our team last year had a connection and a bond unlike any team I've ever been on before. And that was especially thanks to you guys. I'm gonna miss lacing up my cleats and competing with you guys, but uh, I know you guys will do something special in college. Uh, I'm gonna miss you guys, but uh, roll tide. Uh, why don't you get a special congratulations and thank you um, to my basketball guys, uh, Cy, Nick, Kev, Jack, uh, BM, uh, thank you for all that you guys have done over the last couple of years. Uh, you guys have helped the program a lot, and I'm glad to have shared so many memories with you guys. Seniors have embraced clubs and arts at Devon. From Luca Moraldi and Dylan Smoot leading the ACT team, to enthusiasm for the arts so overflowing, it knocked the piano over our open mic night with some help from Noah. Thank you, seniors. Good luck. A huge congratulations and thanks to the seniors of 2020. You guys have continuously influenced my Devon experience for the better, for everything I've ever done. In mock trial, the seniors this year stepped up in specific, Smoot, Ziggy, Colin White. They stepped up and took on huge roles and they did incredible. For, mock, or, uh, for student council, Noah, Sean, Kevin, Max, Gaetano, you guys all put in the work that made school events so much better. And I know that effort isn't seen by a whole lot of other students, but you guys truly do deserve the appreciation for all the great things you guys do for us. I'm sorry graduation is this way, but it is what it is. I'd like to congratulate and thank all the 2020 seniors on the soccer team. Um, just thank you for leading me in the last few years, um, teaching me things about not only the sport, but about leadership. Um, and thank you for all the memories um, that we've had. Uh, now, a message from the junior class. First, we would like to take a minute to wish you farewell and to thank you for all that you've done for the Devon community. Some of you started in middle school, Others have joined in high school. But you were all valued by us and have left your own mark on Devon. When this year was cut short, we were all disappointed we weren't returning to school. But this disappointment was doubled for the seniors all over the world. Who weren't able to end the year as they deserved. When we think of seniors, we'll always think of you as the class ahead of us. For the past three years, you guys have looked out for us. Just as older brothers do. And watching you grow closer together has been inspiring. Through you, we have experienced the true essence of brotherhood, which is an important aspect of our lives at Devon. Since we can remember, it is you who have set the example for us. You excel both academically and athletically. And your sense of school spirit and enthusiasm has never failed. Whether you're competing in the pit or on the sideline, you had a way of coming together and uniting the student body unlike anything we have ever known. Seeing your successes and knowing that you had been there and through it all before us has helped us stay focused and reassured that we'll be okay. It's crazy to think that we'll be seniors next year and that it's our turn to accept these responsibilities and make our final mark on Devon as you have. Although we won't see you walking the halls or in class, your example and legacy will still resonate with us. The strength, spirit, and brotherhood that you have exemplified even in times like these is something we aspire to have. As you all travel far and wide, some to the west coast and some to the east, we hope that you do not forget where you came from. And that you remember Devin and all the great times you've had over these last few years. That you remember Mr. Beothi's Geo, Father Javier's history of the church, Father Shea's physics, and all other class experiences. More important for you to remember than our classes and their learning are the people you met here and the relationships you made. Relationships that will last a lifetime, but only with your commitment. Stay in contact with your friends, classmates, and teachers. You mean something to all of them. Although this year was cut off short, do not linger on what could have been. Cherish what is. 
Value what was your time at Devon, but don't dwell too much on it. Those that live in the past never look at where they're going. But as well, don't be anxious about your coming time in college. Those that live in the future are lost running for the stars, oblivious to the rock that makes them fall. But those who live in the present are free most of all, for they know the past is here and the future is now. Be glad that you spent your high school time at Devon and be excited about where you are going. But most importantly, be present in the now and enjoy what events occur around you. Don't be sad that the past has gone. Don't be scared that the future is coming. Be happy that the present is now. Finally, we hope your college experience is the best it can be. We wish you good luck in your learning, good luck in your career, and good luck in the rest of your lifetime. A chapter of your life is closing. Another is open. Not everything will be perfect, but not everything won't. Either way, in this new chapter, don't be afraid to fail. As Thomas J. Watson once said, would you like me to give you a formula for success? It's quite simple, really. W rate of failure. You are thinking of failure as the enemy of success, but it isn't at all. You can be discouraged by failure, or you can learn from it. So go ahead, make mistakes. Make all you can, because remember, that's where you'll find success. And finally, from all of us at Devon, 